Hey, what's going on? So my name is Billy Busby, and today I'm doing some test shots with the DJI Pocket 2. I've only had this camera about 90 minutes right now. Enough time to like download the app, charge it up, kind of figure out some of the settings. And I just want to kind of run it through some basic stuff. I bought this to use for some very specific purposes because like my videos are vlogs, journalism stories, and I'm a strong believer in that using the camera that you got at the time to, you know, capture whatever's going on, right? And this thing is small. It does a lot for what it is. And yeah, you can keep it in your pocket. I was gonna look for these cats and see where they are. Now they make ND filters for this thing because right now it's uh, like two or three in the afternoon and the sun's like right there. I mean, obviously you can see where it's at, but I don't, it has an HDR mode, but the crop is pretty bad. I saw reviews that were saying that the crop on the HDR was intense, but I wasn't expecting that. It's like almost a 200% uh, <laughs> jump in on the shot, if that makes sense. So like if you're using like a DJI drone, sometimes they have that digital zoom that like doubles the shot. That's pretty much what the HDR is like on this. It's, it's pretty bad. Actually, we'll stop and turn it on. There it is. And the other problem with uh, HDR on this mode is it only shoots 1080, so it won't do HDR and 4K. But let's see. I mean, that's I'm holding that thing almost all the way out. It's not completely straight out, but that's shooting into the sun. Walking this way. Well, I guess it's not directly into the sun, but sort of into the sun. I'm on 4K, 30 frames a second in pro mode. I'm not gonna get into all of that stuff with it. Uh, just know that right now there's no adapter on here. I'm using the audio coming from the wireless mic and I've got a cat stalking me. This is not one of my cats. Now we're back to 4K. That was the uh, HDR mode but this is the little wide angle adapter that they sent. So one of the cool things that I've noticed so far in my hour of using this camera is a lot of this stuff is like magnetic. So it's been like pretty cool. So here's the wide angle, you know, and the camera is pretty smart. It knows that the wide angle is adapted. So there it is with the wide angle adapter on and then off. Right? I don't know if he's going to my apartment or not. Shit, there you go, on. It didn't recognize it that time. Let me turn it back off. Wide angle lens removed, wide angle lens installed. So, and then of course, this is without HDR mode. So I wonder how well that's look. I am using the wireless mic and I'm in Decentralite, which I think is like their version of Log, right? DJI Log or some kind of equivalent to that. So I want to go check my mail, but that mailman's still over there. It wouldn't be an issue if I had my uh, ID with me. I could show him at what apartment I lived in, but I don't feel like walking back up there and getting it and going back over there. This should be with just the mics that are on the Pocket 2. And a couple of things real quick, man. So these are like, uh, these aren't polarized, but they're cycling glasses. And sometimes, man, those things, it's hard to see screens with this. Like if you're, um, I, like I can't see my vape screens with them. Like it cuts it out. Sometimes, you know, if the angle's wrong on the phone, you can't see it, but I can see this. And like, even when I'm sitting here pulling around with the settings on it, you can still see it in harsh Texas, South Texas sunlight. So, that's a that's a plus right there. So this is the case that comes with it, right? 
So it's pretty cool, pretty nifty. I don't know if you can see down in here. But all of your stuff is in there, right? So it's your phone adapters, USB-C charger. That's an iPhone adapter, by the way. And then there's the wide angle lens adapter. So let's put that on and it's like magnetic, right? But unfortunately, the way you gotta pull out and I can already see something on there. Yeah, the way you gotta pull it out kind of makes you have to put your fingers on it. So, all right, that's with it on. That's with it off. All right, off, on. So it makes it a little bit wider, but the issue is you can't put that back into the case here with that on. So you have to take it off and put it back in the case. And it's all like magnetic and stuff. So that part of it's pretty cool. I've heard people say that, you know, they've uh, got some concerns about it staying put once it's in the case. But anyway, really see that. But the problem with HDR mode, there's a few problems with it. One, I don't know what it looks like yet. Two is it's only available in 1920 by 1080. So you can't do 4K and HDR mode. And then three, it crops in like crazy. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to hold this framing right here and just show you. That's HDR mode off, <laughs> right? So like that's, that's pretty crazy. All right, let's see. Here's one of my cats out here chasing me around. So let's see what he's up to. He better not be over there fighting with them big cats. There's a big cat right there. There's a big cat right there. Now I wanna try the HDR mode with this wide angle adapter on it and see what happens. All right, there's HDR mode without the wide angle lens. There it is with it. So again, this is with the wide angle lens and HDR mode. without it. How does that expose for my face right there? It's like the sun's right behind my head, some cool clouds up there. I got a cat rubbing on my leg. So here is a, another test. So I've been using the wireless mic for everything I think up until now. I hope that's what I've been using. But now it should be on the DJI Pocket and it's got a bunch of mics on it stuff like that so like i said this isn't like a full-on review this is just kind of putting it through some paces and just doing like some test things with it but we're probably i think we're planning on doing like a full-on gimbal training day at work tomorrow sort of non-formal training day and this would be good to test against some of the bigger things so I've seen some low light stuff online on YouTube. You know, I don't know if that's really what it looks like or performs like, but for what those guys are doing, you know, in post or whatever. So I don't know, you gotta take all that stuff with a grain of salt, but yeah, I'm walking around the parking lot here. People probably think I'm crazy. It looks like I'm talking to that men in black, you know, thing that they used to erase people's memory. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty impressed so far. The one thing I will critique it on early is remembering which button does what. So there's like two buttons on here because I got the joystick installed on here right now. Each one does something different and then there's things that you have to go into the screen to do. So that's a little confusing, but I'm sure I'll figure it out with time. Out the wide angle adapter on it too and I'm just walking I've got the wireless mic hooked up kind of cool a couple of last minute things that I noticed was you can't really set this on the ground 
without that tripod that comes with this creator combo and it's like just too rounded right and i'm on that do it all handle right now and that's why you're able to hear me with this guy but that's slightly aggravating it's just too round to set down maybe indoors on a perfectly flat surface but out here walking about like you know you you couldn't just set it down without that tripod it's funny what dogs bark at like you know they know their environment so well you know that they don't like me out here talking they can hear all these other noises that they hear every day and they don't bark me coming out boom they, they start barking uh, so what I should have been doing today was should have went to work I called off today um, waiting on pest control to come spray my apartment we've had a lot of people moving in and out over the summer and a lot of people are going back home for the winter because we have some migrant workers here and anyway still haven't had that happen and then number two was this was delivered today and I didn't want it to just sit outside all day and then number three is I should be working on my final thesis paper right now but our professor hasn't given us the feedback to include into the next draft so here we are playing with the pocket two all right so we're back on 1080p this is glamour effects on I don't know what glamour effects is I imagine it's some kind of skin smoothing smoothening smoothing smoothing thing but i don't know i'm trying to figure out how to activate active track so, yeah. another cool thing about today is it's a little bit breezy out here so you should be able to test the mic out it's noisy so i really want to test this guy out i want to check out this cat again too it's like this pure black cat he's big too but yeah i couldn't figure out how to turn active track on so i don't know that'd be something new to learn tomorrow with our gimbal trials at work so all right. All right, buddy. I'm gonna leave you alone. I just never seen you around before. Let me try just holding this like a tripod. Hey, buddy. Hey, poochie poochie. Last test, I want to see, number one, that's like crazy HDR, right? And then I'm gonna go inside and see how well it adjusts. Partly, I want to see if it keeps my settings from earlier, too. Which it looks like it is. But we'll see. Come on. Come on, guys. The problems of being a cat dad. Come on, get your butt in there. 